full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Your Google Home disconnected from the Wi-Fi. Though this may seem too easy, there is a relatively high chance that your Google Home may have disconnected from the Wi-Fi network that allows it to control the devices in your home. This issue is widespread if you have an older model of Google Home speaker since, like other devices, they eventually start making some issues. The solution, if you have the Google Home app installed on your phone, you should be able to select the device, choose the settings, and view the Wi-Fi settings to see if your Google Home connects to the Wi-Fi. If your Google Home speaker is not connected, you may want to reboot it and reconnect it again since that should be able to resolve the problem. Your Google Home is unresponsive. Though Google Home got created to be an assistant to help you complete tasks around your home more efficiently, there may still be times that it becomes slow or unresponsive. Like any other technology that gets left on for an extended period, Google Home may also start slowing down and causing some issues if you do not reboot it every so often. Luckily, there is an uncomplicated way to resolve this. The solution. If you have the Google Home app installed on your phone, you should easily be able to reboot your Google Home device to see if that is what is causing the issue. By opening the app, selecting the Google Home device, selecting the settings icon, and tapping the reboot button, you should be able to fix any issues caused by a slow or unresponsive Google Home speaker. If you have rebooted your Google Home and it is still unwilling to switch on your TV when asked, you may have a different issue. Your TV may not be connected to the Wi-Fi. Another common reason your TV will not switch on when you give the command is that your Google Home cannot reach it if it gets disconnected from the Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, this is another issue that is a part of owning advanced devices. Sometimes, things happen and your gadgets will disconnect from the Wi-Fi, but luckily, the solution is quite simple. The solution. If your TV disconnects from the Wi-Fi, you should still be able to control it using your standard TV remote. Using your remote, you can select the settings on the TV, navigate to the Wi-Fi or connectivity section, and quickly reconnect it to the Wi-Fi. Once the TV has a stable connection, you can try again. Your TV or Google Home needs to update. It is not unusual for devices to become unresponsive due to an update waiting to install or has caused connection issues. Sometimes two devices will update at different times, causing the connection between them to break. Luckily, this is a common issue and is very easy to fix. The solution, it is always best to ensure your devices stay up to date and confirm the connection software is on the same version. Smart TVs and Google Home have easy ways to ensure they stay up to date using the settings on the app or TV. If your devices need an update, you can install the update, and once your device is working, reboot it to be sure. Your TV is not supported. It may seem too simple, but if your TV is unsupported by Google Home, you will naturally not be able to switch it on using Google Home. There are a couple of reasons why your TV may be unsupported, including that it is not a smart TV or a software issue. The solution, if you do not have a smart TV and want to use Google Home to switch it on, you should look into buying a smart TV box like the Xiaomi Mi Box to give your TV advanced TV capabilities. Suppose your smart TV is unsupported due to other issues you may be able to troubleshoot the problem via the manufacturer's website or connect an intelligent TV box similar to a non-smart TV. Try a soft reset. A soft reset is where you turn off the TV and unplug it from the wall outlet. You then usually have to wait for 60 seconds, then you can put the plug back in and turn the TV on again. Performing a soft reset clears a device's internal memory of running programs which often clears up any technical glitches. Try a hard reset. A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults. Most TV models have specific instructions. However, 
If you have a Samsung TV, there are specific instructions in the linked blog post. If you are still having issues, try taking a look at the comments. I will also keep the blog post linked in the description, updated with any new fixes that emerge.